Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're building the Marvel Super Heroes The Hulk Buster Smash. This is set number 76031, 248 pieces. We have uh, four minifigures, Hulk, Ultron Prime, Scarlet Witch, and Iron Man MK43. With the Super Jumper, it's not, it's not so much new anymore. This set is kind of oldish. When did this set come out? Let's see, 2015, so it's it's almost two years old, so, you know, a couple years ago that was considered new. They don't put it in many sets anymore, it was kind of one of those gimmicky things that really didn't take off, no pun intended. So, got the box cut open, move this down, we're going to check out the contents. It's a, uh, it's a vertical, kind of a, a portrait-sized box, decent size shape. We have a sticker sheet with two stickers on it, so that's cool, small sticker sheet. We have the comic book, don't really ever read those, there's nothing to read, it's all visual. And this is interesting, it's a instruction book that is normally um, formatted to where you open it this way but it's actually formatted to where you open it kind of long ways. So the formatting of this set in general is kind of unorthodox. All right, so we have numbered bags. We have bag one, which looks like it has about 20 pieces in it. We have bag two, that looks like it may have 100, and bag three, which looks like it may have 150. And then we have a um, separate bag that has all of the Hulk pieces in it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bag now because we're going to go ahead and build Hulk with all the parts from bag one as well. And there's literally not much in this bag number one at all. There's a tiny bag of tiny parts. Um, so we take these Technic pins with axle on the end, attach our Hulk arms, and the Hulk fists just snap right on there. So that's the Hulk. And we're going to build his little machine that he is trapped in. And I guess this is what's going to use the bulk of the pieces. We also have... Oh, I turned the page too early. Let me back up a little bit. We do have Scarlet Witch to build. Go ahead and get these minifigure pieces out of the way. So there's Scarlet Witch. Okay. Get back to where I was in here. This instruction book is struggling to stay open. When I open each when I turn each page, it wants to fold back to where it was. Some of these arched pieces. Go ahead and put this down on the table because it's getting a little, a little unstable. Alright, we have 
three of these sloped bricks with a jumper tile on it with a trans light blue cheese slope on top of the jumper. Take those three pieces, put them all right there. large flag element that we're going to attach a bar to and we're going to use our stickers so here's our first sticker and now guess what time it is it's last sticker time. So the last little piece is a play feature where we have this trans clear bar with a little plate on the end and you can basically have Scarlet Witch floating or flying above that. So the trans clear stuff basically means something that's flying or hovering. Okay, that completes the small bag number one. So let's uh, move this to the side and we will do bag number two. Okay, bag number two begins the build of Iron Man Mark 42. I mean, Mark 43, not 42. It's got the typical Iron Man. So the molds of, of the Iron Mans that have come out over the years, all the different marks, um, are, are basically the same. It's the printing because the, the armor changes, the chest um, power element that is visible at all times has changed over the year. The shape of it has changed. So it's basically the printing is what differentiates the Lego minifigure from all the others. So that's Iron Man. Of course he has the mask that folds up. Folds back down. So let's begin the build of the uh, Hulk Buster. Got some Technic axles. Over anti tile. A lot of this dark red color, it's a pretty cool color. Some bricks with the, the large toe balls on them.
some Technic bricks with pinholes, a couple plates with clips. Let's see, we turn it this way. Attach a translite blue plate and a dark red plate. Now we have this Technic fin left arm. the other one to this side. I have two tan bevel axles. And two of these toe balls with an axle hole in it. This is two of the same element that we're building. trans, light blue, skeleton arms. We have these bionicle pieces. To the side because now we have a little sub build to do. done with this little portion. Take that, fold it up, clips on there. So there's the chest portion of this build. There's our 
big head. Let's see if I can. There we go. All right, that completes bag two. Now we're under our third and final bag. Okay, so we're in our final bag. We are going to build our final minifigure, which is the Ultron Prime. Legs, torso, we have this neck piece that goes on, and then the head. all the rocket boosters put him over there next to Iron Man so we're gonna build the legs now for the uh, Hulkbuster start with some brackets translate blue one by ones Brackets. One by two plate. So that is basically one foot. I could probably build the other one. It's probably exactly the same. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it and do that before I even get to that portion of the instructions. Just gonna do it based on exactly what we just built. I will bet you that it is identical. Okay, so we have the other one ready now for whenever it's time to put it on. I'll put it to the side. So now we have the thigh portion to build. Turn it over, we get an anti tile, and this piece attaches there. That goes there. Alright, we already have our foot built, which is identical as I expected. Let's move on past those portion of the instructions.
another anti-tile on the bottom. That goes there, this goes here. So there's our legs. Now we need arms and hands. three fingers and one thumb. This attaches to the left arm. Some stud launcher gun pieces, two triggers, translate blue anti tile, and then three fingers and a thumb to make up the hand. This goes on the right arm, and the stud launching piece is actually a trans light blue round brick with a gold stud on it. That's what gets launched out of that stud launcher. And there is your Hulk Buster. So we can uh, open up the top, fold this down, take Iron Man, put him in there, close everything up, and he's ready to go. Alright, so that completes the build of the Lego Marvel Super Heroes Hulk Buster Smash. Look at that Hulk. We've got the uh, Hulk Buster. If Ultron Prime. I'm going to move this down so we can get a kind of a better view of it. There we go, that looks better. give you a better glimpse of what's actually going on here. The overhead view looks good for building, but this is better for the, uh, the final product. So, thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. Make sure you subscribe if you like these kind of videos. And uh, comment below, hit the like button, do all those things you know how to do on YouTube.